Hi guys, today I just wanted to share with you something that I recently studied in my quiet time with God. It really stood out to me and I just wanted to share it. So, it comes from Micah 6 and 8. And it says, He has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. And that what really stood out to me is that it said that this is what the Lord requires from us. So this is what the Lord wants from us. And sometimes what God desires for our lives, we, we may not like or we may not agree with or we may not want to do. And to do justly was the first one that stood out. Justly means right or fair. So we should be treating people right. We should be being fair to people. And sometimes that, like I said, that doesn't come natural to us because of just different sort of circumstances that we may be going through or different ways that people have treated us. But we have to treat people right. We have to do people the right way and fair. And to love mercy. Mercy means, the definition of mercy is compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. So we have the power to treat someone back or get someone back that did us wrong and or not forgive someone for something they've done to us that we didn't like but it says it here we have to show compassion we have to be forgiving and sometimes that's hard when people have done us wrong but we can do all things through christ who gives us the strength to do it god's not going to tell us to do something that we can't do or that he's not going to help us to do we have to just go to him in prayer and say, Lord, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. And he will help us every time because it's his will. His will is what's best and his will is what he wants for us. So there's that. And to walk humbly with your God. I feel like that just means walking humbly with your God means that we have to know that his will is what's best. What he wants for us, what he says we should be doing is what's best, even though we don't understand it. We may not want to do it all the time, but we know that, okay, he created us. So he knows us better than we know ourselves. And so just even saying that, like, okay, we have to humble ourselves. That means not think our ways or, oh, God, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm, no, we have to humble ourselves and say, okay, Lord, I want this. I, we can bring our request to him, but we have to say, not our will, but your will be done. Just like Jesus did in the Garden of Gethsemane when he was about to go to the cross. He said, Lord, let this cup pass from me. He didn't, want to, he didn't want to have to go through and suffer the way that he knew he was going to have to. But he said, Lord, not my will. May your will be done because he knew God's will is what's best for him. And what was best overall. Over what he wanted and just overall he knew God's, God's will was what's best. And this was my study that I studied the other day. I hope that it blessed you how it blessed me. It opened my eyes to a certain... Um, level that I may not have been on <laughs> and I hope that it just opens your eyes and that you would just read over it and go over it and see what you see. You may see something different than I saw or see in it and um, it can maybe help you in your life and help you in some areas where you may need some practicing or some strengthening in like me. So I just pray that you would just like I said take this word and read it yourself and see what you see. Alright guys have a good day. Bye.